Let's continue with part two of the helpful editing tips in Active Presenter to boost your productivity. Five, show video frames. Since version nine, on the timeline pane, you can now see the video frames for the video objects instead of the audio track only, like in the old versions. This will help you define a timestamp while editing more visually and precisely. To control the show in high state of this frame, right-click on the video bar and choose the Show Video Frames option. Six, lock and hide objects. While editing, there are several objects overlapping each other, which makes it hard for you to select a certain object. At this time, you should apply lock features by simply clicking these lock icons. And choose this icon up here to lock all objects on the timeline, then unlock them one by one to edit more flexibly. When you lock objects, you cannot select and edit them anymore and the position and the properties remain unchanged. Now, right-click the object and choose Lock Size and Position if you just want to keep the size and position of the object. With this option, you can still make changes to the object on the timeline pane, for example, add an animation. Or, if you find these lock features still complex to you as you can still see many layers, choose the eye icon to hide the objects. Doing so, the object will be hidden from the editor so you can see and edit other objects or layers more easily. If you have got used to using hotkeys, take note of these hotkeys to trigger these lock and hide features. 7. Waveform Height while editing the audio tracks, some people might feel the height of the audio tracks is not enough for them to view and edit exactly, while some find their audio tracks are still taking up too much space. So, you can customize the waveform height by right-clicking on the audio object in the timeline pane, then waveform height, and choose a suitable option. Then combine it with the zoom in and zoom out timeline to edit your audio more exactly. 8. Split slide In some cases, for example, after recording the screen, the recorded video is too long, making it hard for you to keep track of all the content. At this point, it's best to divide the one slide into smaller slides and focus on each of them one by one. So just place the playhead at the timestamp you want to split, then choose Split Slide. Later on, you can even add exciting transitions between slides or merge them into one slide again. That's it! Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and watch part 1 of the helpful editing tips as well as other helpful e-learning videos here. Goodbye!